Sledgehammer has absolutely been killing it with the new camos in this game. And the eight new ones added in with the STG and the static HV are no exception. So let's go unlock them. Ever since the camo challenges were overhauled last year in MW2, we get four new base camo challenges with each weapon that comes out and each camo challenge is going to have its own unique camo and in mw2 it didn't seem like there was that many notable camos that they added in outside of the solid color camos which i really enjoyed but here in mw3 it seems like with each new gun added in there's at least one camo that almost every player out there can enjoy and for me, I'm normally am looking for more of the flashy camos like this one we got on here for our HV static. This is the zombies version of our first camo challenge. I'm really into the vibrant colors and they're making a lot of these camos glow in the dark. But the camo I'm really looking forward to getting today is the first one for the STG where we just have to get 50 kills with the weapon. And that is the forms and features camo. It has a bunch of red lines over it, kind of similar to how the magma event camo looked that came out earlier in the year. But it's a bit more subtle not as much in your face but there is a nice glowing effect to it so it will glow in the dark and if you're the opposite of me and you're not really into the flashy camos and all that and you want something a little more subtle i actually have on one of the more subtle camos they've added into this game and it's just called black it's just a matte black camo we've seen something like this before with the solid color camos and even like the bold camo category but they haven't always covered the entirety of the gun and this does this to me is kind of like how obsidian is just without the texture it covers the entire gun no scratches and it doesn't leave any really secondary color on it so if you just fully want to black out your gun this is a really nice camo to get but this is a zombies camo that i have i had to get 250 point blank kills of the stg and zombies to unlock it but if you're not really into zombies there is a multiplayer version of it where it's the same thing but just all white and to get that camo we're gonna have to get 25 kills in tax stance so we might as well start working on it let's go ahead and switch this to tax stance and try to get a few kills with it there we go there's 24 more and i'm playing in core right now i'm not doing the greatest we only have like 11 kills i've been slapped around a little bit so we'll see how long it takes me to give in and go to hardcore just to get the rest of these done but from what i've seen about these weapons so far is it looks like the stg is kind of taking over in warzone uh it always seems like whenever a new weapon comes out it's like the new meta in warzone for a bit until there's like an answer to it or a nerf and in multiplayer it seems pretty decent it's a pretty standard ar it seems to be doing the job and as for our hv static it has a pretty good fire rate it looks like the damage is all right we're getting a few kills here and there. And it's one of those side loading mags or top loading mags, kind of similar to like the P90, which is always fun. But there isn't a mag attachment on this. So whatever mag we have, which is 50 rounds in it, that's as high as it's going to go, which is my only complaint about weapons like this. And just a slight complaint about the STG, because last time I used this was in Vanguard. And I will say in Vanguard, the STG's iron sights were a bit better. I don't really like these iron sights as much. They seem like a lot smaller. Oh, we don't even need it right now. We need to work on these tax stance kills. We got to get them out of the way. And so far, this new map bait, I'm kind of a master at it. As you can tell by me getting one kill and dying constantly. But it looks pretty good. I, I like the, the nice summer setting. Some cool colors on here too. And it didn't feel bad flow-wise. The post-launch maps in this game have been pretty good. And for our other base camos for the STG, we have the Out of Sorts camo, which is a sort of wavy blue and orange looking camo. Very Miami Dolphins-esque. Which kind of seems like a weird color combination, but I think it works. It's not my favorite camo in the game, but it looks pretty good. And to get that, we're going to need to get 15 headshots with the STG. Ooh, and that should be all of our tactical kills. Give me the white camo, please. Did not pop up. Or did it pop up while I was dead? Oh, well, guess we'll find out. Did we get it? Oh, we did. Let's go. Ooh, I don't like this one very much. But I got to go ahead and add a camo into the game. They're like, you know what? Let's put this in the, the washing machine with all the keys and coins that we have in the house get this thing fully scratched up i wish there was a way to change the wear on your weapon because some people i'm sure like all the scratches and stuff it makes it feel more realistic but for me i'm trying to see the full camo on the gun there's a brand new camo and i'm getting it used but the last camo we haven't talked about yet for the stg is the flit and flow camo i'm pretty sure it's called kind of a weird name but it looks similar to the gradient globs camo just like a green version of it not the biggest fan but you know i, I like the more vibrant camos I'm not mad about it. And for our SMG, we have a few like psychedelic type camos. One is like a floral one with eyes on it. Kind of similar to one that we got last season. Just a different colorway and a slightly different design. And we got a camo that's extremely psychedelic. And I can't even begin to try to pronounce this name. Hold on. Let's look at it. 
Crackle. Yeah, that's not happening. Collision's in there, though. I know that one. But it's got a lot of crazy, vibrant colors, and I think it looks pretty nice. And there might be one more camo that I'm missing, but it's not showing up in my track challenges here. But in the last update, they made it so you can track 10 challenges at a time, but you can still only see the five in the menu. So I don't know if they fully added that in right. Ain't that right, pal? Thank you for the free headshot. Gotta love some free head. So let's just try to get all of our base camos done for this STG before we move on to our SMG. Oh, and there's our flitter float. That's two camos down, two to go. Then we can start working on the masteries for this. So I'm actually kind of close to Interstellar, and I'm not gonna lie, I've been slacking on it a bit. I just don't want the grind to end. I've been taking my sweet time with it, but I promise I'll have it done before BO6. Maybe not, if all of our games keep going how this one's going. Why I just hop on here and get slapped around. Why don't they leave me alone? COD even tweeted out another little article about SBMM today and how they have no plans on getting rid of it. But they did mention again, you know, they dangled a the little fruit in front of us, you know, with a carrot on the stick, saying that they thought about adding in a playlist with no SBMM, but then they're like, uh, maybe people that are already a high skill level will just use it and then abuse people that aren't at a high skill level. And yeah, that's kind of the point. People are, are fawning for the days where they could hop on and just completely wash a, a 13 year old that just got out of school. Well, I guess now 13 year olds are a lot better at games, but. You know, I, I want to go against some people that suck. I want to go against people like me that are worse somehow. You know, let, let me have more than a 1.0 KD. Because it feels like every game I hop in on here, these people are playing 4D chess. And I'm playing underwater hungry, hungry hippos. And they're winning. I'll buy a lot. But despite me getting slammed around here, this is also a pretty good map they added in this season. I think it's called The Yard. It's a little cell shaded map. Seems pretty good. It's uh, relatively small. Maybe slightly larger than small. The flow of it seems pretty good. These people are finding me pretty fast. They might have already figured out all the spawn traps for it. That and we only have four people on our team. But I am uh, not looking forward to seeing how many deaths I have this game. I might have 31 kills. But that is chump change compared to like my 60 something deaths it feels like. Oh, thank God it's over. This guy already has the new prestige cam on his gun. It looks sweet. But what are you doing with that? This season just started. Oh, I only had 44 deaths. I say only as if that's not my entire team combined. This is the flit and float camo I was talking about for what's supposed to be a vibrant camo. It kind of looks dull. Like they, they took a lot of saturation out of it. And it's also scratched up just like our solid white camo. Lame, dude. And the one camo I couldn't remember for the static HV last game was the no fly zone camo. And it's just one with a bunch of penguins on it. That looks pretty nice. There's a blue version of it and there's a red version of it for zombies. I honestly think the red version might look a bit better. Come on, we got to be getting close on those ADS kills. Is that it? Yes, sir. That's the one camo I really wanted from this. I think now we just need headshots and we're done with all the base camos for this. Ooh. I love how I'm getting hyped for like the smallest, dumbest plays. That should not work. We got to have our little victories. I just need two more headshots and they're evading me. It's like the last bullet purposely dodges the head. Okay, there we go. I just got to complain. I just need one more. Please let me get it before this game ends. Oh, come on. No way the camo curse is going to hit me like this. Shit. Yeah, that's game. No way there's another J money and he's on the other team. We, we got to beat him. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. Oh, there he is. Let's go. As long as I got a positive KD against him, it's a win. Oh, and there's our last headshot. Give me my camo. Yes, sir. Now it's time to work on our SMG. Oh, we're even against RJ Money now. This can't happen. Yeah, that's right. Sit. And I should really start trying to focus on getting our kills while the enemies are stunned or flashed. Those usually take me a bit. Ooh. A little triple with my nemesis in it. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, you don't stand a chance. I'm the original. It's like the Mauler twins. Stupid clone. At least my clone and I are both top of the leaderboard. That's what we like to see. Oh, and there's a camera right there. Oh, and we got our shapely print. Despite that very embarrassing non-kill. He's got slapped with a lightsaber. Should have definitely had it. All right, that's game. We lost. Still had more kills than the other Jim Bunny though, so that's all that matters. He had more confirms, but who cares? And he had more deaths, so 
Suck it. Now that we got it unlocked, look at this. This is beautiful. Very vibrant. And look how much it glows here in just a slight amount of darkness. I really like this camo a lot. It looks sharp. Like, actually looks like the sharpness was raised on it. Ooh. Hey, I'm trying to look at my camos, pal. You mind? And then now we have the multiplayer version of the camo we've been rocking on this SMG today. And I like it a lot more. The, the color pick on it is a lot better. A lot better spread. But now it's time to unlock some more camos. Come on, are we done with our stuns yet? We gotta be close. Please. I hate this challenge. Where are we at? Oh, only 9 out of 10? I mean, only. I pray for days like this. Let's get one more. Or it's done ourselves. All right, it's going just the way the game wants it to go. And me suffering. Oh, that's it right there. All done with stun kills. We just need three more hip fire kills for this SMG. And we are all done with all the new base camos. Ooh, make that two hip fire kills. And one more. There we go. That should be all of them. Let's go. Garden of Eyes camo. Give me that. What do we got to do now? I need to get two operator kills without reasoning the trigger 10 times with the what? Static HV. The bad part about this challenge that I mentioned before is that this only has the 50 round mag and that's it. Not like 50 rounds is a bad thing, but my aim ain't the greatest. I might have to go into hardcore, especially since I'm only seeing like one person at a time. I ain't seen two people near each other. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's just lock in and knock these out so we can go get a better look at these camos. I think this two kills without releasing the trigger might be impossible if you're not on hardcore and specifically shipment. I'm not finding anybody near each other. We're just going to work on the STGs gilded. I think it's just getting 50 kills while strafing. Which is super easy. I really should not talk. That literally took me to my last bullet to get that kill. I've never seen anything super easy again. Ooh. Never mind. This is super easy. Easy game. Insanely easy game. Kind of a baby game, if you ask me. I get so cocky after I get one streak, after getting my ass kicked the entire game. I cannot be helped. My ego is too large. No way I got all those kills blind. That's what I'm talking about. I don't even need eyes. Not like I use the ones I have anyways. Oh, of course. I missed the guy laying on the ground. Fuck you. Eat an aid. Oh, they got cell shaded shipment too. This looks beautiful. I love the sky. Oh, look at all the little smoke effect. This is sick. They put some love into this. I love how like normally the shipment in this game has just been like ship mist because I think everybody just like the look of that better because the actual shipment was just so gloomy. And then they do something completely different here. It's just so bright and vibrant. I love it. Oh wait, we are on shipment though. I should get these SMG challenges done. Beautiful. I didn't even know he was over there. Oh, and there's Gilded. Beautiful. Perfect. I'm running out of adjectives. Now we need 15 kills while ADSing with it. With full attachments. Complete polar opposite challenge. Oh, now I'm getting them all in one spray. That's got to be the easiest platinum challenge of my life. Show me the camo. Or don't. Whatever, game. I don't care. We'll get it right here instead. That's a rank up. And that's our camo. Now what do we gotta do? Two kills shortly after sprinting in one life 10 times. That might be a little bit more difficult in hardcore. Unless they just don't see me at all. Oh, and that should be priceless right there. Yes, sir. All of our mastery camo is done in one game. I love shipment. It's so efficient. I tend to do the same thing with the STG. I'm getting all these masteries done just in this game. That should be gilded. Let's go. There's forged. There's one more to go. That should be priceless right there. There's a rank up. And there's the camo. We got all of them done in one game. Back to back. Let's go take a peek at those camos. Now here's the camo for the STG that I really wanted. And now we get a closer look at it. It's almost just like the red parts of Damascus. Which looks pretty good. But you're probably thinking, you know, what's so special about it? You know, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. We also have this camo for our static HV that I like a lot. Very vibrant. Also, you know, a pretty good camo. But you're like, huh. You know, maybe there's something else to this. Well, let's cut the lights. Just look how much this bad boy glows. It's actually insane. It's a completely different camo in the nighttime. The glow and the dark camos in this game, 
have been so good and sledgehammer's been loving putting them out it looks like because basically every camo we get when we come into here or at least when they add in a new weapon to the game it's gonna look something crazy like this and i'm loving every second of it this could have been an event camo and i wouldn't have blinked an eye and for our smg camo it's a little bit more subtle but it does have a bit of a glow to it so if you don't want to stick out like a sore thumb like our stg one this one's a pretty good one to go after and here's the weapons with the camo swapped on them this just looks so good they are absolutely killing it with these camos these are beautiful Ooh, and that looks so nice on the smg god damn what a good camo. So if you're getting bored of the camos that you got, maybe go and check out some of these new ones they just put in because they are very nice. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.